South America is one of the brightest pilgrimage sites on the sacred ground of football. Over the years, the history of South American countries and the FIFA World Cup has been closely intertwined. Perhaps it's due to this shared past that even during the World Cup qualifiers, a fiery atmosphere prevails. Many have forgotten by now, but in the 1989 qualifiers, during the Brazil-Chile match, astonishing things happened. Deception, drama, and a player's lifetime ban. Let's see what happened. 1990 World Cup Qualification At that time, the qualification was held in a completely different system in several smaller groups, which was only changed before the 1998 World Cup. As the defending champion, Argentina was considered an automatic participant, while the other nine national teams were equally divided into three groups each. As opponents, Chile received the weakest Venezuela, which has never been to the World Cup, as well as Brazil, which has never been absent from the biggest football event. In the first round, as expected, Brazil secured a 4-0 victory, while Chile won 3-1 in Venezuela, using this as a warm-up for their Santiago encounter. In that August match, the audience witnessed a real clash, filled with rough tackles and red cards in the truest sense of the word, where the guests had to substitute Branco as early as a second minute due to a harsh foul. This foul did not result in an expulsion but both teams were left with one player less as the match continued. Eventually, the game ended in a 1-1 draw. In the latter part of the month, the Brazilians once again defeated Venezuela 6-0, and a week later, Chile joined in with a 5-0 victory. The two teams thus entered their decisive September match with 5-5 points, which was played at the Maracana in front of 141,000 spectators. Due to their better goal difference, Brazil would have been satisfied with a draw, while Chile needed to achieve something that no national team had demonstrated in the qualifiers up to that point, winning a match in Brazil. The match at the packed Maracana Stadium kicked off under the whistle of Argentine referee Lustau. The first half finally revolved around football and ended in a goalless draw. Events picked up in the second half, and in the 49th minute, Brazil took the lead. For the following five minutes, Chile dominated as they tried desperately to get back into the tie. Brazil weathered the storm before taking control once again. Then came the dramatic moment of the game. In the 68th minute, just as the Chileans were about to bring the ball upfield, Lustau interrupted the game because the guest team's goalkeeper, Roberto Rojas, lay on the ground covered in blood and surrounded by smoke. He had been struck by the firecracker that was thrown onto the pitch. Se ha comunicado y los jugadores están pidiendo la atención. Posteriormente saldrá Roberto Rojas y Chile no ha vuelto. Cuatro centímetros en la, la herida de Roberto Rojas. Llegan los jueces, el señor Lustó, el señor La Molina, el señor Espósito. Y ellos... Vale, recién ahí el árbitro dio por terminado el partido y vamos a ver lo que informa. Si lo dio por terminado o por suspendido. Ojo, Roberto Roja fuera del, del campo de juego, llevado por los jugadores. Y el equipo chileno se retira de la cara. La foto de lo probio es esa, ¿eh? La foto de lo probio, la imagen de lo probio. Estamos repitiendo el instante dramático. The stunned Brazilian players discussed what to do next with the referee, spending a further 20 minutes on the pitch awaiting the return of the Chileans. Eventually, the referee was forced to abandon the game, meaning that the likely solution would be a replay at a neutral venue. It appeared that Brazil had been just 22 minutes from Italy before their unruly fans ruined the day. The TV cameras had swiveled to Rojas after the crowd noise drew attention to the incident. There was no footage of Rojas being hit by the flare, just his injured body writhing in agony on the floor. Later on, it was revealed that a pitchside photographer named Ricardo Alfieri managed to capture the moment when the flare landed on the field. When the pictures came out, there were four clear shots starting with the device flying and then landing one meter away from Rojas, 
There was clear evidence now that the flare had not directly injured Rojas. Two days on from the game, the medical report from the incident stated that there had been no burn marks on Rojas, just a cut on the left side of his forehead. So what happened? The answer finally came out when the goalkeeper was questioned further in the ensuing days. He had concealed a razor blade in his glove ahead of the match in order to simulate injury should the need arise. Unsurprisingly, Rojas was given a lifetime ban from the game, which was finally rescinded in 2001, allowing him to return to Sao Paulo as a goalkeeping coach and then manager. Chile were also barred from the 1994 World Cup qualification process, although more because of abandoning the game than the injury simulation.